Flooded Valley Chimps, start with a sub in that bottom left corner. Its rain should go through the little bend in the track right there. Once you get close to $350, slow it down and buy your second sub. Place it in the top part of the water right there. Placement isn't really precise, just get it down early so it can catch those leaks and beat round 6. This double sub combo is going to carry us all the way to Lazili, which is super nice. So this is probably the easiest Flooded Valley Guide you'll ever see. We're going to be abusing Pod and Azili's interactions with one another. And the main reason we're using Azili is of course for her buffing Pod and that we can destroy the bad super easily. So during round 10, get Azili right there and set her to strong and then you can just forget about her. She's very, very useless for early game and mid game, but because Pod is just that good. It makes up for Azili's shortcomings. Get twin guns on the bottom sub after you get Azili. And then get a sniper, place it anywhere on that rock, doesn't really matter where and set it to strong. Get air burst at the end of 17. Then longer range on the bottom sub. and advanced intel on that bottom sub before round 21 and that's going to let us beat 21 super easily. After that get a boat, place it about there. The range marker you want to look at is the top of the boat's range should cut the vertical track about in half. And then just start upgrading your boat to a 220 double shot and hot shot. After your boats are 220, get night vision goggles and then make sure that your sniper has the camo priority enabled. That is very, very important. Otherwise, you probably lose to round 36. Get destroyer ASAP at the start of 35. And then proceed to upgrade your sniper to a 120. I think you should get shrapnel shot first, but I'm not sure if it matters. But yeah, just do that for consistency. And then you can upgrade your top sub to a longer range. And then your bottom sub to triple guns. It doesn't really matter what order you do it in. But just make sure that your top sub is an advanced intel. So 200 on that top sub, and the bottom sub is going to become a 204 before the Moab comes out on round 40. 39, just turn off auto start because we need to buy AP darts at the end of the round. Get AP darts. Make sure your boat's on first, your bottom sub's on first, and your sniper's on strong. And you should beat the Moab every single time. I've only done this strat about three times and I've never lost to the Moab on 40. So just make sure your towers are targeted the same as mine and you should be fine. From this point on you can turn auto start back on again because it's really that chill of a guide. Place a village after round 40 right about where I do. Make sure there's enough space between the village and the dam to put a tower in between. Then get a, a wizard in that corner specifically, as close to the track as you can of course, and upgrade that wizard to a 203. Get the discount upgrades on the village by the way. Make your wizard a 204, unpopped army. And then start upgrading your village to a 202 jungle drums.
After that, get an elk, place it as close to your wizard as you possibly can. Horizontally, that is, as you see me do here. And then just upgrade the elk to a 300 and leave it like that. We're not going to cross path it yet, just for some monetary reasons, which you will see later on. Make sure you set your bottom sub to strong. I'm back for round 60, all you have to do is use Moab Hex, because we literally don't have enough damage, but anyway. For 62, what you want to do is turn off auto start, and just make sure you buy pod at the end of the round, because you do need it to beat 63. I don't turn it off here, and I just spam the button and buy pod before 63, which also works. After you get pod, upgrade that ALK to a 320 finally. And now all we have to do is start building our big bird army. So begin with a second village to the left of the first village. Pretty much just exactly horizontally to the left of the first one. Make that village a 102. Then your first beast handler should go between the first village and the track in that corner, specifically. That one's going to be the Paukai. Second beast handler below pod, about there is good. Make sure you don't put it too close to the Alchemist, because we don't want it stealing the buff, of course. Third Beast Handler, above the Alk. As top right as possible while being in discount range, in double discount range. And then same thing with the bottom Beast Handler, in double discount range, as bottom right as possible. Once you have four Beast Handlers down, start upgrading your third from the top beast handler to giant condor once you have your giant condor begin upgrading all the other beast handlers to giant condor as well and then just merge them into the main giant condor as you see from now there's literally nothing you have to do except use moab hex on round 80 I'm not sure you even have to, I don't think you actually have to, but if you want to pad Azili's stats, you probably should. And just do the same thing on 85, not necessary. 87, I recommend it, because there is some RNG on that one. But other than that, there's not much you need to do. Build your big bird army, and then I'll be back once we can afford Palkai. I'm back during 92 because we actually need to use Moab Hex this round. You want to use it as soon as you see a ZOMG come out from either track. Mm -hmm. 
93 is AFK again, and at the end of the round we are going to afford Pelkai and just destroy the final few rounds of this map. This really is the easiest strat that I've seen on this map. I remember when I first blackboarded this map, it was my first ever expert blackboarder. I used P-Lord and Brickle and all that, which is pretty annoying because Brickle is a very ability timing dependent hero, but yeah, this strat really, there's no ability timings or anything like that. It's just straight up destruction. So this setup can normally beat the last like whatever round and win you the map, but Round 99 is very tough on this map, and so to combat that, we're going to upgrade that sniper to a 420 main Moab. You don't need any abilities for 95, 96, 97, 98 even. 99, we are going to be getting a Balloon Sabo just to guarantee victory, because even with one main Moab, it's, it's not a guarantee. Because RNG is a thing. So just watch Paokai destroy everything. Watch Paokai destroy the hardest round in Chimps round 98. And make sure you turn off auto start mid 98 and just get your 040 ninja in double discount range. Ninety nine is super simple. Whenever you see DDT, just Sabo, and Paokai will take care of it. Round 100 is even simpler. Buy Azili's level 20. And don't do what I did here. You want to wait until Paokai starts attacking the bad and then use Moab Hex. I used it a bit too early, and so it actually turned into ZOMGs. But as you see, Paokai is just busted, so it still worked out completely fine. And yeah, I hope you enjoyed.